Hey, this is Chef Robert Irvine, and this morning I'm here at Miso Robotics with the CEO Mike Bell to talk about the future, the future of robotics in food service. Hey, Mike. Hey, Robert. Thanks for joining us. So Mike, educate me into what it takes to installing one of these and maintaining it. It's surprisingly easy. Uh, we've gotten it down to be able to be installed overnight in about 12 hours. So we typically pull a truck in after restaurant closes, just say Sunday night, stand up the side frame, the overhead rail, no special construction required. It works over pre-existing fry stations. And by the next morning, Flippy's cooking food. It's that simple. It's, we've gotten it down that simple. The first ones weren't that easy but we've been doing this long enough and we've kind of got it kind of pre-packaged in such a way that yeah, we pull the trigger and it's up overnight. So in, in that approximately $3,000 that it cost me to, to get this installed and running, how is that saving me money? It's saving you money by allowing you to take other people that used to work this station, work in, redeploy them to work in other stations and actually increase the restaurant's productivity their throughput and therefore their sales. And so the, in this environment, the restaurant doesn't actually send anybody home and reduce labor costs. There simply isn't enough workers to go around. So what happens is, is the economic win for the customer is they sell more. So I look at the return on the investment, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a chef, I have restaurants, I have businesses. So if I install one of your, your pieces of equipment, the robotics, how is that saving me money though? Is it, is it because of the speed of service? What, what, how does that work? It's precisely the speed of service and there's a number of metrics that restaurants use to measure their overall performance. Speed of service is, is, is the main one. How quickly cars move through drive through and how quickly guests get served their food. Small little gains in speed of service result in significant increases in, in revenue for the restaurant. And in many cases, Flippy can improve speed of service by as much as 30%. And it literally happens overnight. I know that sounds hard to believe. When we put a robot in and, and, and overnight and the next morning it's cooking, those people go to other stations and help those stations be, become more productive. Um, it just works like, uh, works like a machine. Well, I, I'm loving the return on the investment, number one, because I'm all about making money. The maintenance of this, mm -hmm. because you know, if we if we are employing you to come in and put Flippy in, that's that's the saving moment on this side. Who's going to maintain this? Yeah, we have a fleet of remote field technicians, and frankly, most of the service is just preventive maintenance. They come in about every 30 or 60 days, depending on the volume of the kitchen, and they come in, and there's a handful of parts that are replaceable, the sleeve, for example. But generally, it's just routine maintenance to keep it up and running. So, so where are we going from here? You, you're telling me that you're going to take care of the equipment. You're making me money. There's, a win, is, there's no lose here. What's the catch, right? You know, we recognized early on that for us to succeed in our mission, we need to make robotics for restaurants as easy and reliable, as affordable as any other piece of kitchen equipment, like say a dishwasher or a refrigerator. And so we're rapidly on our way to getting there in terms of having these things plug in uh, on a Sunday night and be cooking food on Monday morning. It's amazing to me. I, and I'm a big believer in technology and robotics. So what's in the future? What's coming next? Well, what you're gonna see is a continued uh, series of, of product automation solutions and robots that are gonna be come out and be announced by MISO. Each one taking over kind of one discrete solution after the other back of house. We're exclusively focused on the restaurant industry. It's a massive industry and there's so much need for automation. So you're gonna see us to continue to progress and I think when you, from years from now, you'll look back and we'll say, okay, there was once a time when humans used to do that thing and that time is upon us. Well, there you have it, folks. Future solutions from Miso Robotics. CEO, he's in it to win it. What are you waiting for?